I did medicine at Cambridge for three years and then I moved to Oxford and trained at the John Radcliffe and I qualified in 1990 and after that I worked around hospitals in London doing my junior training and as a registrar I did my cardiology training in West London at Hammersmith Hospital, Charing Cross Hospital and St Mary's Hospital and that's where I did my research and from there I was appointed as a consultant. The initial training was in general medicine, but my specialist training was in cardiology. I've been a cardiologist since 2002, but that was when I was first appointed as a cardiologist at uh, Buckinghamshire Hospitals NHS Trust at Mandeville Hospital initially. And I also work at the Hammersmith Hospital, which is now part of Imperial College Healthcare. Um, I also work at the Harley Street Clinic in London. And uh, recently I've been traveling to Kenya to work in the Nairobi Hospital. I have specialized in interventional cardiology, which includes the treatment of heart attacks, the closing of holes in the heart and doing specialist interventional procedures on the heart. I have been publishing work ever since I was a medical student actually and my initial publications were guided by the doctors that I trained with and I've always been interested in immunology and the, and the interaction of the immune system. My PhD was in the role of the lining of the arteries, the endothelium, in rejection. I've been very interested in medical training and I've written two textbooks, the Oxford Handbook of Acute Medicine and the Oxford Handbook of Cardiology. Over the years I've also written several books on training for the medical exams. My research interests have been focused predominantly on cardiac diseases. I have diversified my interest in a lot of different areas over the years. When I was first appointed as a cardiologist, I was involved in some very interesting research on cardiac rehabilitation. And Stoke Mandeville Hospital was one of the sites for a European-wide study on cardiac rehabilitation. I've also been involved recently on biomarkers, which is trying to find a blood test for heart disease in conjunction with collaborators at Imperial College in London. So as an interventional cardiologist, I am experienced in the treatment of heart attacks with angioplasties and stents. I'm experienced in pacing for people with heart rhythm problems. And I've also trained in closing holes in the heart and putting plugs in various pockets in the heart to stop people from having strokes. I think I'm different from a lot of my colleagues because I take the time to listen to the patient, to try to understand why they have come with this problem at this time. Is it because of a problem with their heart? Is it a disease that they've got now? Or is it something else like stress or work or family related issues? And by getting to the bottom of why the patient has presented with symptoms now, Quite often you can provide a more holistic approach to their management rather than just treating the symptoms. Mm -hmm.